right, so the lip liners are finally here. And today's video is going to be a lip swatch video where I swatch all of them for you on my lips as always. So these are the new XOB lip pencils. I know some of you guys have been waiting for this for a while. I did announce these probably like three or four months ago by this point. I'm so excited to finally have them here and ready for sale for you. I wanted to make these perfect. I wanted to make sure they were like good value for money, good amount of product. I wanted to make sure the packaging looked stunning, which I think I've achieved. Like I am so stoked with how they have come out. I just think they are so pretty. They are super creamy. They last so long on your lips. The colors are just amazing. Like there's almost every color I could want, although I'm already thinking of a few new ones. <laughs> and I wanted to make sure that they were fairly affordable for those of us in New Zealand and Australia, especially when you take into consideration how much product is in this compared to some other brands. Here you get 1.1 grams, which is really reasonable. And these ones are like a wooden pencil. And the reason I went with a wooden pencil is again, you get more product. You'll notice like when you look at your own lip pencils, the one in automatic dispensers are often way less product than the wooden ones. And I also just really like how you can resharpen these. I know in the past I've like used the automatic ones just because they're way more convenient but I do actually like being able to get a nice sharp tip with the wooden one so I just wanted to make sure you guys were getting value for money overall and it's a really good product as well also these are made in Italy cruelty free of course and I've kind of made them so that they go with my lipsticks but they're not necessarily like identical matches I mean some of them more or less are but it's kind of just more like a duo so lots of these lip liners will go with multiple colored lipsticks depending on the effect that you want to get if that makes any sense at all. I don't know. I'm going to swatch each lip liner and then I'm going to put an Inkso Beauty lipstick in a couple of different shades on my top and bottom lip so you can kind of see like how it looks with lipstick on top. Hopefully this video is helpful and if you guys aren't interested in Inkso Beauty or anything, don't worry, my next video will not be an Inkso Beauty lip swatch video. <laughs> and saying that, thank you guys for all of your support on my previous videos which were like my Inkso Beauty lash try on video. I'll link it down below. Such amazing feedback. Thank you so much. And then of course previous to that was my Inkso Beauty lip swatch video which I'll also link down below if you want to see it. Those new lipstick shades have been going so crazy they've been flying off the shelves so I'm just so thankful and so happy that you guys like them. So right now on my lips I do have Ainsley lip pencil with limerence on top. This here is the limerence lipstick so that's just what's on my lips right now. I will show you how the lip liner applies as well because yeah it's already on. I just did a live stream it was so fun. I've been like loving doing live streams lately anyway. So there are 12 shades total. I'm going to go from lightest to darkest and just show you each shade on. 99% of these are perfect to wear alone as well if you do just want like a matte lip that's going to last ages and ages. I like to use lip liner just all over just as like a lip color sometimes but there's like one or two that are probably more for like matching with lipstick so I'll point those ones out. They are the lightest ones so yeah. So the first shade is definitely one of the ones, like I was saying, I would recommend pairing up with a lipstick on top just because it's such a pale color. But it's a really, really good base if you're wanting to wear a nude because it'll help your nude lips stay on all day long and just go on a lot more even. Especially if you're using more of like a sheer formula um, and you find it looks a bit streaky or anything like that, that's when a lip liner like this comes in perfect. This shade here is called Valerie. And it's just a really beautiful light pinky nude named after my mama. I just picked this dead skin on my lip and it's kind of bleeding. Perfect timing. <laughs> so this one, because it is such a light color, I feel like it's just not as flattering by itself. But if you really wanted to wear it by itself, you totally can. This is the color. Ignore the bleeding lip. <laughs> These apply really smooth. They really do smooth on. I've actually called them smooth on lip pencils because yeah, but they are completely matte and they stay put for a really, really long amount of time. Okay, and over top, I'm going to show you how it looks with Ubuntu, just on the bottom lip. You can see how perfectly that goes. Or serendipity, like if you want a color that's not going to change this color too much. That's how serendipity looks on the top lip. Let me darken it a little. That's a bit better. So yeah, that's the first lip pencil in Valerie with Ubuntu and Serendipity. Overall, this is just like my go-to just for a nude base. It's really good just to completely wipe out and erase your natural lip pigmentation so that your nude lipstick on top goes on super true to color and super even. If you love nude lips, it's basically gonna be one of the ones for you. And if you don't like nude lips, 
give it a miss. Next up we have the lip liner in Sally. This one you can pull off on its own if you want. I've worn this alone and I really really like it. It's a beautiful light peachy color or once again obviously chuck it on underneath another lipstick. If you are a deeper skin tone this will not work on its own for you. It'll be better as a base but if you're like fair, if you're like my skin tone or lighter it'll work just by itself if you like a peach. It's very pastel. So that is Sally on its own. I think it looks really pretty on its own, but a couple of different colors I like to pair with this one are Meraki and Lao Tong. So Lao Tong is the liquid lipstick. I'll put this one on the top lip. And Lao Tong is actually quite a lot brighter than this lip pencil, but I find the lip pencil makes this last a lot longer on the lips and it just is a really nice base. I just like the way it looks. Do you know how hard it is to apply lipstick just to one lip? It's really awkward. So that is Lao Tong on the top. So stunning. I love it. And then on the bottom, I'm going to show you Meraki, which is a really nice peachy pink. And that's how Meraki looks. So yes, yeah, Sally works amazing with these colors or even a nude. If you want to make your nude a little bit more peachy undertone, you can put a nude straight on top of that one. It's really fun just to kind of like experiment and mix and match. I've been doing it a lot lately. You can create some really cool combinations. So yeah, there's just a couple of my favorites. That lip pencil is Sally, the perfect peachy pastel color. The rest of them are probably even more wearable. Next up we have probably my personal favorite. This is Mari, named after my auntie, and it is the perfect kind of like muted beigey nude. Here's the color. It is so pretty and this goes with so many different lip colors. It's like unbelievable. I love this color by itself. Look how beautiful that is. I have a couple of very favorite combinations for this lip pencil and I've actually shown you some of them but I'll show you again. So first I've got Deja Vu. This one here is a matte lipstick and it's just the perfect color to pair with it. Deja Vu is a little bit more beige whereas Mario lip pencil is maybe a little bit more like more of an undertone but you can see how beautifully that matches. I think it's so pretty. And then on the top lip, this is gonna be hard for me to show you because usually I rub my lips together, but Meraki, this creates the most perfect like flush of pink. I just dab it on. Can you see how stunning that is? This lip liner basically takes any like brighter color and makes it more muted and wearable. I love it. It looks even better when you can like rub your lips together, <laughs> but I can't do that right now. But I just love, love, love the pink tone it gives. So yeah, that's a couple of my favorite ways to wear the Mari lip pencil. But once again, I wear this alone a lot. It's definitely a favorite. I think it is so pretty and very versatile. Next up, I'm going to do Tracy, named after another one of my aunties. Fun fact, she hates pink. So this one is more of a lilac shade and I've named it after to her. I swear I picked the day where my lips are so dry to do this lip swatch video. It always works out that way. So this is what Tracy looks like. I love this one by itself. It is a very wearable muted lilac kind of color. I actually love it with this eye makeup too. It looks pretty. But you can also wear it of course underneath other lipsticks which I'll show you now. So one of my favorites is with Carpe Diem, which Carpe Diem has like those kind of lilac undertones to it. It's like a lilac-y mauve pink. On top of this, it's just so good. Absolutely stunning, like match made in heaven. Any type of nude looks amazing on top of this lip liner, but one kind of like unexpected color I really like on top of it is Redimency, which is this like pinky plum color. Once again, it's kind of awkward doing one lip, but anyway, how pretty is that? just makes like the perfect plum color. So there are a couple of my favorite ways to wear the Tracy lip pencil. I can't wait to see your guys' photos as well on Instagram. You have to let me know what combinations you're wearing so I can try out some new ones. Next up is Michaela, and this is named after one of my beautiful best friends and it is the perfect pinky shade, just like everyday pink shade. So that's the shade Michaela on its own. I kind of like screwed up my bottom lip a little bit, but whatevs. The shade once again is stunning on its own, but I'll show you it with some of my favorite combinations. And of course you don't have to pair these up with XO Beauty lipsticks. I'm just showing them with the XO Beauty lipsticks so that if you are looking for a liner for these shades, you can mix and match, you know? You do not have to use XO Beauty lip liners with XO Beauty lipsticks. You can use whatever brand you like, that's obvious. 
but you know. <laughs> so we have for locally, which is one of our best selling, actually no, this is our best selling lipstick shade. It looks beautiful on so many different skin tones. And that is how it looks on top of the lip pencil. As you can see, it's almost a perfect match. For locally, it's just a little bit less pink. It looks so perfect to me though. Like this is like my perfect everyday pinky Morphe color. And then I'm also gonna show it to you with Elysian. So I really love Elysian with Mari lip pencil too. Holy crap, it's beautiful. I like to wipe off most of the product and use this as like a tint. So I just go like this. And then we need to take a brush because I can't use my other lip. Actually, I could use my finger. Usually I would just rub my lips together and that just brightens up the lip pencil a little bit. Elysian is one of my favorite colors. It is so, so bright, but you can wear it so wearable. Like this on top of the Michaela lip pencil or even on top of Mari, it looks so stunning. And it also makes it a little bit more matte when you just apply like a small amount. There you have Michaela lip pencil with Elysian on the top and Falocally on the bottom. It's just like the perf... Oh my god, there's like a white dove on my roof. Okay, I don't know if it's actually a dove or just like a white pigeon or what it is, but look at this. Look how cute. Is that a sign? Is there some kind of like symbolism? Like, what does this mean? Anyway, if you love pink lips, Michaela is a must. And it's so pretty by itself as well. The next color is called Jocelyn. And Jocelyn is the name of my Nana who recently passed away. I wore this to see her. She loved it. I showed her the color. She loved it. So I'm so happy she got to see it before she passed away. And I told her I was naming it after her and she was very happy. This color is sort of like a My Lips But Better peachy tone. It is like the perfect wearable peach. So it goes with a lot of different lipsticks. The color she saw me wearing with it was Lao Tong, which I showed you before with Sally Lip Pencil. So I just kind of do the same thing. Oh, it's so bright. Like just put on a little bit and then usually rub my lips together. Jocelyn makes the color Lao Tong very, very wearable. If you do have trouble pulling this off, just full blown neon like it looks if you just apply it straight to your lips. It's so pretty, so flattering. You could even go for something like Harikwa, which is like a like brownie peachy color, like a terracotta peach. On some people, it looks super red as well. Like it definitely transforms depending on your skin tone. How stunning is that color? Seriously? That's Harikwa on top and on the bottom is Lao Tong with Jocelyn Lip Pencil, my nana. This one makes me very happy. It's one of my favorites. Next up, I'm gonna show you the shade Holly, which is named after another cousin of mine. This is like your dream if you love a bold pink. So as you can see, the Holly Lip Pencil is actually super wearable considering how bold it is. It is the perfect muted pink and it's very like neutral. It's like the same color as my Hello Kitty in the background. <laughs> now this color obviously just looks good with any pink, any pink at all. So here are a couple of favorites. We've got Kairos, which is kind of like a peachy pink. That is just a match made in heaven. I've got nothing else to say. It is just stunning. And then on top, I'm going to show you Numjai, which is a very beautiful muted bold pink also. So there we have Numjai on the top and then Kairos on the bottom with Holly Lip Pencil. Both of these combinations are gorgeous or of course just wear Holly alone if you want a nice bold lip that's going to last all day. Okay, while we're here, let's do the other pink, which is like the final pink. And fun story, if you watch my vlog, you already know this, but you little, you did get it. What is this? Oh my God, I can't believe you really did it. I've literally spent close to an hour searching for my lip liner. The name is Shannon, so it's the one named after myself. The only thing I can think of is that Louis must have come and stolen it. Oh, you're such a dickhead. So I'm gonna have to apply this one off camera because I only have my sample, which is super hideous. So here we have Shannon Lip Pencil. This is the brightest pink there is. This was made to pair up with Ineffable, which is a super bright blue toned pink. It's so, so fun. So I'll show you how this looks. I love it by itself too, by the way. I wore it to dinner by itself. And I just think it's super fun. So that's basically the only lip color I would wear this lip liner with. But if you have any kind of hot pink lipstick, this will work. Even if it's not like a blue tone, it'll still work. Just for fun, let's try it with Elysian on top, which is the bright light pink. 
Even that looks quite nice. It just gives it a little bit more of like a muted look almost than if you wear a lesion by itself. My lighting is going crazy right now because the clouds are coming and going. I actually really like the way a lesion looks with it. I'm gonna do that. So yeah, a lesion up top, ineffable down the bottom with Shannon lip pencil. People say like, I'm too scared to wear colors like that. Just try it because I actually feel so confident with this kind of lip color on. And if you just pair it up with lashes, a bit of eyeliner and keep your makeup super simple, it looks so cool just as like a feature, like a bold hot pink lip. <laughs> okay, four more shades to go. First I'm gonna do the orange, which I was wearing in the intro. This is Ainsley, which is named after my cousin. I love her so much. If you guys watch my vlog channel, you may have seen her on there before. With Ainsley, I love limerence. This is one of her favorite combinations. That just makes limerence even more orange, basically. You can also wear limerence on top of a red lip liner to bring out the red tones. I love it on top of orange because it just creates this bright orange lip. Without the lipstick, it's a little bit more muted, so it also looks amazing on its own. And another way I love to wear this is just with a red on top. So let's take Impavid. Impavid's normally a little bit more of a, like a pinky red. This is when, again, I would normally rub my lips together. This is so unco. It just makes the red a little bit so untidy now because I use my finger. It just brings out like a brighter red, I guess. So that's a fun way to wear it. So yeah, that's Impavid on top and then Limerence on the bottom and then Ainsley Lip Pencil. This is really testing my memory. Ainsley Lip Pencil is definitely another favorite because you guys know how much I love orange. And the next lip liner is called Kelly, named after my beautiful friend Kelly. Actually, I've got two friends, Kellys. Two, two Kellys. So this color here is definitely beautiful if you like a deeper lip. How stunning is that? It is so pretty. This is probably like the closest thing I've done to a brown, but it's got like a more of an undertone to it. So it's like a really deep, rosy, brownie kind of hybrid. I love this one with Harikawa as well. So I'll show you that one on the bottom lip so nice. It really brings out the terracotta undertone to Hadakoa rather than using Hadakoa on top of like a peachy lip liner. This one, yeah, like, huh, huh. And then Redimency as well with this one, which is like that plummy kind of pinky plum color I have. Like, how stunning. So those are definitely some of my favorite ways to wear this color. Which one do you prefer? I love both. So yeah, Kelly with Hadakoa and Redimency on top. Next up, we are going to do Lauren, which is named after one of my beautiful friends once again. She always rocks these beautiful, like, deep lipsticks. So I had to create a deeper color that reminded me of her. So that's what Lauren looks like by itself. Oh, I love it. So yeah, it's basically just a deep plum. Once again, Rita Mincy looks amazing with this one. Also, Wabi Sabi. I haven't shown you that one yet, so I'll show you. So that is how Wabi Sabi looks on the bottom. It's such a perfect base for this color. It's like such a beautiful like purpley plum color. Also, one of my favorites, Aroha. This looks perfect. Like, let me just show you. Oh my God, I love this color. That's Aroha. You can see that goes so perfectly. Aroha also looks really nice on top of Kelly as well. I'm really struggling with this lighting right now, but there you go. You can kind of get the gist. So if you really like those deep vampy colors like Wabi Sabi, it's a very good base. Otherwise, Aroha looks amazing. And it's such a beautiful color just to wear on its own. I'm really a huge fan of that one, obviously. So we have Lauren Lip Pencil with Wabi Sabi down the bottom. And then we have Aroha up the top. And then Lauren next to Rita Mincy also looks amazing. And then and last but not least, we had to have a bright red lip pencil. You guys know sometimes here and there I love to wear a really bright red. And I've got a couple of reds in my Exo Beauty collection as well. So this is the lip pencil I created for those ones. This is in the shade Olive, which is the name of my other Nana, who I love very dearly. Okay, so here is Olive by itself. Sorry about the lighting. It is just a really true bright, bright red. So I've got a couple of reds. One is Impavid, which just goes absolutely perfectly. You can see that Impavid's a little bit darker. Olive is a little bit brighter and lighter and maybe a little bit more muted. If the lighting just wants to stay in one piece, please, just while I finish my swatches. And then the other one, which I'll do on the top lip, is Dolce Vita, which is my red matte lipstick. 
and how bright and stunning is that color up top. So Impervid's just a little bit more muted, deeper, and then Dolce Vita's a little bit brighter. And I love the way Olive looks by itself as well. I also really like Limerence on top of Olive because it makes Limerence a little bit more red tone rather than orange. And that's the final swatch as well. So those are all 12 shades of my lip pencils. I'm obsessed with every single one of them. And as you can see, you can definitely wear like 10 or 11 of them by themselves as well if you just want like a matte lip pencil all over. I know a lot of people do like to wear them by themselves, including myself. Otherwise they all work amazing as they should with any lip color on top. If your first name matches any of the lip liners, comment down below and let me know. And yeah, I'll talk to you guys in my next video. Also let me know what combination you want me to wear in one of my upcoming tutorials, if any. I will talk to you guys in my next video. Bye!